Okay, we're back and we're in the home stretch, folks. We are in Fantasy Suites in Hawaii and I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet. So the first date she goes on is Devin, which doesn't bode well for Devin because the first date, um, I think typically they're the losers. Um, and also it's not boding well for him because he's literally losing it. Um, uh, he's not doing well. Um, they go on a helicopter ride. They make out in front of a waterfall. He accepts they forego their separate rooms and stay together in a fantasy suite night. And he keeps telling her that he loves her. And then even as he's leaving, he says, love you. And she says, okay. <laughs> and then it's goodbye. Woof. So, and then he has a meltdown later in the episode. So, and he is golfing with Jesse and he is talking to him about venting about it. Okay, second date, Jonathan. Now, we get kind of a big reveal about Jonathan on this date. So they go and they're gonna go and eat these fun Hawaiian donuts. And he reveals that he is on a strict diet and it's a cheat day and he is definitely feeling some type of way about it. He doesn't wanna eat the sweets. And I think the consensus is that it's not attractive to not want to splurge and eat some fun food on your Hawaiian vacation. But I think this is also revealing in another way because from his past relationship, he, he was in a relationship with a woman who had a drinking problem. So it's kind of like a my best friend's wedding theme here in this episode. Devin's chasing Jen, Jen's chasing Marcus, Jonathan isn't really chasing anyone, but in general, I think he probably does go after um, women who like to indulge in a lot of things, whereas he doesn't, where he has a lot of strict rules for himself. So I just thought that was interesting. Um, but anyway, um, he stayed over and I think it went fine. Neither of them said they were in love with each other. And then that brings us to Marcus, who Jen is in love with. And uh, she saved the best date for him. They go on a snorkel, they go on a boat, they go snorkeling with glow in the dark manta rays. And then they go and their fantasy suite is in a tree house. And the whole episode, he's telling Jesse he's not in love with her. He's telling the camera, us, the audience, he's not in love with her. And then he tells Jen that he's not in love with her. And then to that, she says that she's in love with him. And then he says that, um, he, he, w he will say one thing is that he wouldn't be here if he didn't think it was possible for him to get there. Who knows? There are a few confusing things that Marcus says. One is he says that when he's with Jen and they're together, everything's great. He's having a great time. He's like, I don't know where all this anxiety is coming from. But when they're apart, that's when he starts to spiral. So I don't really quite know what that means. Like, does that mean that when he's with her, he does have feelings of love? Or does that mean, and that he's just like freaking? Or is he just like, literally, he's just like, I just don't love her. And I just know it, but I won't ever be able to. I don't know if Marcus has ever been in love before. And also another thing that he told her was that he said he missed her and that he'd been thinking a lot about her. What does that mean? And then he also says another piece of information. He says, when he was at the rose ceremony the last time, she called his name last. And that, he, he doesn't go into detail about like really what he was feeling about that, but it kind of, he was like, he kind of said like, oh, that made it serious. Like, but serious for you how like I don't understand like and that's kind of what I'm wondering if Marcus who's he chasing he's chasing his familiar abandonment pattern he, it's not so much that he's in love with Jen but he does enjoy being in a high rankable environment he likes to be in an environment where he's ranked he's always trying to prove himself so he's addicted to this like idea of like always wanting to prove himself over and over and over again and where how love factors into that it's like we just don't know because he probably needs a lot of psychological help and to do some real work. And who even knows what kind of girl that would do it for Marcus? 
Anyway, um, so a lot of people are saying that probably Marcus and Jen should, should have thrown in the towel, but she invites him overnight. Who knows? I'm, wonder, I'm so curious if she slept with Devin. I'm curious if she slept with Marcus. I don't think she slept with Jonathan, but maybe they did. He said he was feeling great the day, next day. Um, anyway, I know, yeah, so I know that everyone's like, that's it. Like, she's not in love with Devin. Cut him to the, you know, set him free. Marcus is not in love with you. Marcus, you need to go home. Set Jen free. But I, my fantasy brain is always like, I still want Jen and Marcus to be the ones together. I don't know. So we'll see. Tonight is Mentel All, and we'll see what happens with Devin if he self-eliminates. And that's it. So stay tuned. Bye.